if you have parents who are telling you that this is the way you should do things, uh, you might end up uh, in a asylum, psychiatric hospital. If you have uh, parents who are looking at you and who are not blaming you for this or for that, or not giving you a model, we know that there's a moment in time in life where things are undetermined. And uh, if you have somebody who is not only allowing a kid to be himself, but who is protecting him and who is shooting him with such love and with such grace and with such subtlety. There's nothing you can do but bravo. The winner of the 2014 Pride Award, So, uh, first of all, what I was wondering is the series is called Boy. Um, but I assume that he has a name. He does. What, what's that all about? You know, funnily enough, I actually have always chosen not to tell his name mm -hmm. because it's not really about the identity of this particular child. It's about the general notion of children being able to be who they want to be and being able to express what they want to express without it being ever oppressed. I think that's a really dangerous thing to do to a child and I think it can create a very unhealthy society in the future. So it, it's never really been about him as a child um, and I don't really want to take that identity out there in the world. Do you see what I mean? And in yeah. fact in many of the pictures that's why I chose not to really reveal his face because it's not specifically about him. A couple of years ago when my son was dressing up and, you know, experimenting with all of these different costumes. Um, I told her, I said, you know, this is what my son likes to do. And so she said to me, that would make a really interesting documentary. And so and that gave me an idea, you know, and I started doing it. I started photographing these very sort of intimate moments that I have with my son in our daily life. And that's, and it just evolved and grew from there. I think, you know, to be honest with you, how I kept it natural and how I styled some of it is very much, I think that's kind of just something that comes with experience as a photographer. You know what's going to work and you know what's not going to work. And I have control over the situation. This is inside my house, it's with my own child, it's with everything. I can control the light, I can control all that situation. So it was a very easy decision to make. What made me decide to enter the contest, I was contacted by Pride. Um, I, and I was asked permission about having the photographs published on the Facebook page. And then they also suggested that perhaps you'd like to you know, also send in a submission for the actual Pride Photo Award. It was the first time I'd heard about the Pride Photo Award. I knew very little about it. Um, but as the deadline drew closer, I, I thought, you know, why not? On a couple of occasions, I've had people say, that was very brave to put your child in these pictures. And that is a whole debate anyway. But whether I choose to have my picture my son be a model for a Reebok ad that is also in some way a form of exploitation of a child because it's not the child's choice you see so it's it's just it's just a debate that does get spoken about and people have often said oh you know a little uncomfortable about this association with pride and his child and what have you but I never had a problem with that in reality Pride is not something that he knows anything about. It's not. It's not something he associates with, and it's also not. Um, it's not his cause. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not his fight in life. So, um, so it was. It was problematic. You know, like, is it my place to even put him in this position? But we figured, organisations like Pride are actually very important, and ha whatever my child is you know, whoever he is, whatever sexuality he becomes as he grows older, I'd like to think that we're raising a child with an open enough mind to know that he did something positive and did something good, or contributed to something positive, you know?